Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. During a recent visit to Lviv, a city in western Ukraine, Australian Defense Minister Richard Murleys announced a significant boost in military aid to Ukraine. The announcement came hot on the heels of Murleys' attendance at Anzac Day ceremonies in Turkey, underscoring Australia's commitment to international security and cooperation. The newly pledged aid totals $100 million, aimed at bolstering Ukraine's defense capability. Of this amount, $50 million will be dedicated to providing short-range air defense, SHORAD, systems, a crucial component in safeguarding Ukrainian territories against aerial threats. Specifically, the allocation includes state-of-the-art man-portable air defense systems, MANPADS, known as RBS-70, which are currently being phased out by the Australian Army in favor of more advanced systems. Manpads like the RBS-70 are pivotal for ground-based air defense, offering protection against low-altitude air threats such as helicopters, drones, and low-flying aircraft. With a range of up to 25 kilometers, these systems play a vital role in defending fixed sites and mobile units from air-to-surface attacks and aerial surveillance within a limited area. The RBS-70, developed by Sweden, stands out for its precision and reliability. Utilizing laser beam riding technology, the missile system ensures accuracy by tracking a laser beam directed at the target until impact. This feature renders it resilient to electronic countermeasures, making it a formidable defense asset. Operating within an approximate range of 8 kilometers and with an altitude coverage of up to 5,000 meters, the RBS-70 excels in engaging various aerial threats, even in challenging environmental conditions. While specifics regarding the number of RBS-70 systems to be provided remain undisclosed, the aid package also includes $32.5 million for procuring drones through the Drone Coalition, spearheaded by Latvia and the United Kingdom. An additional $15 million will be allocated for acquiring essential equipment such as helmets, boots, generators, firefighting gear, and rigid hull inflatable boats, all of which are deemed high priority for Ukraine's defense forces. Furthermore, Minister Merleys revealed that Australia had supplied precision air-to-ground munitions to Ukraine, although the exact nature of these munitions was not disclosed. Previous collaborations have seen Ukraine utilize JDAMER guided bombs, components of which are manufactured by Brisbane-based Farah Engineering, indicating the depth of defense cooperation between the two nations. Merleys underscored Australia's unwavering support for Ukraine in its protracted conflict, reaffirming the nation's commitment to standing by Ukraine until the attainment of lasting peace and security. This commitment reflects Australia's broader stance on international security and solidarity, emphasizing collaboration and assistance to allies in need. In conclusion, Australia's enhanced military aid to Ukraine represents a significant step in strengthening Ukraine's defense capabilities amid ongoing security challenges. As Ukraine continues to navigate complex geopolitical dynamics, international support remains pivotal in safeguarding its sovereignty and territorial integrity. That's all for now, see you later.